Well, this is the only thing of interest I'm seeing right now, and I don't know anything about it. It sort of looks mid-century, but uh, I've never seen it before, have no idea what it is, so I'll leave it up to you guys. We'll zoom in on it. Okay. And I don't know whether you could read that or not, but... Uh, my progressive lenses haven't <laughs> kicked in this morning, so I can't read that. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's two ninety nine. There aren't any. There's no damage on it. it. Has its original handle. What is it? I, I just I can't make it out. So. Go, go for it. Go to it. My research hounds. I know a lot of you love doing research. I do too. So, um, let me know. What is it? Now that is a beautiful Cambridge double candlestick, but I can't find its mate. Cambridge. I don't know the name of the pattern or the blank, but it is a Cambridge stick. That one I see a lot. That one's nice, but it's here all by itself. It's four dollars and fifty cents. Well, sometimes people move things, so it's worth keeping that in mind because I might find the other candlestick hiding somewhere in the toy department. Or heaven forbid the lingerie department. I usually don't go to the lingerie department when I come to the uh, Goodwill store. What is this? Oh, this is jadeite in color. What is this? Chance. Oh, Chase. C H A C E. Candles. light green what the heck are these let me turn this camera off Welcome back to the yes uh may i please have a ham and ham i'm sorry uh a ham and egg wake up wrap with no cheese on it <laughs> And a small hot pumpkin spice coffee with cream. That's all. That's all. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to talk loudly because it's crowded in this store. Everything is 50% off and there must be 500 people. But I wanted to show you, I see this dish all the time in many different variations. Uh, and I'm sure you see it as well. But I just wanted to show it to you in the original box. Uh, it is Indiana glass and it's a relish dish or, f or a five part condiment dish. And again, it's very common. Uh, so, but I just thought you'd like to see it in its original box. Comes in all different colors. I think I've even seen it in Carnival. That, but anyway. Well, my first thought is that's a cream and sugar, a sugar bowl with no lid, but this would be an awful big cream, creamer. Maybe it's for gravy. Corn gravy? I don't know. I've never seen that thing before in my life. If 
that's a, if that's for cre uh, coffee, that thing is huge. Mm. There's my color. Jadeite, but that ain't old. I shouldn't say ain't, and I just hiccuped at the same time. Bad language and bad manners. I need to go back to bed. <clears throat> All right, Scott, pull it together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, is that candle wick? And is that Falstoria Baroque? Oh, there's my poor little piece of Cambridge Capri again. Been sitting here for, oh, a month. It's pretty. And this is, feels cut. Look at it sparkle. Oh yeah. See, I'm rubbing my hands over it and this is cut glass. Now you can Google it all you want, folks, but you gotta get out there in the wild and rub your hands over this glass. That's how you learn it. You, you ha there's, a, there's a certain look to it, but there's also a feel. And that comes from the experience of getting it in your hands and rubbing away. Beautiful. See, that's not bad, but it's, I mean, it would just sit with the uh, condition issues on it. Now that one, I know you could do some work on it, but this one is, this one has its luster, but you know, why would anyone buy this one when they could find five or six or 10 or 12 or 50 others that are in much, much, much better condition? And so for that reason, $4. Uh, on a Pyrex primary that's, I'd give that like a B minus condition. What do you think, folks? There we go. Sea Isle City Pier. That's in the uh, New Jersey, it's in New Jersey at the shore one of the shore towns in Jersey. A souvenir piece. That's over 80 years old. Anybody from Sea Isle City that's moved away? On the beach with you I love the whole day through and cuddle close beneath a big red umbrella on the beach with you. That's where I'll undo a basket lunch for two. And through a straw, I'm gonna drink sarsaparilla on the beach with you. We'll sit on the sand, start holding hands, Far from the crowd Neat bright skies above I'll say I love you Right out loud We can dream and plan 
and get a sun-kissed hand. Beside the ocean blue, I'll be right in heaven on the mm -hmm. beach with you. No explanation needed. It's not old, but it's very festive. Embassy fire in China. Two fifty per snack set. Here are some uh, pretty cream soup bowls I haven't seen before. More English uh, China. I find so much English China in this particular thrift store. It's pretty. Here we have the plates and saucers. I like that pattern. You've already seen the uh, back stamp. I'm just curious if the uh, uh, soup, well, cream soups. Sometimes the saucer, the tea saucer, could double as a, as a saucer for the cream soup, but in this case, it's not the right size. But little bread and butter plates could be under plates. That's really pretty stuff. Okay, I cannot adopt another orphaned china pattern. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I don't have the space. I'm not replacements. I don't have a storage unit. I gotta walk away. Can't do it. You gotta understand that, folks. Got limited space. Restaurant wear, it feels like. Yeah, Syracuse. Not terribly old, but fancy for restaurant wear. That was a fancy Denny's. Sugar bowl. This just caught my eye, and it is typical George Briard, or Georges Briard, as I guess you're supposed to pronounce it. I don't see the, uh, I think this is called Forbidden Fruit. I think that's the name, oh. <laughs> there it is, Forbidden Fruit. Special Anniversary Edition, 1959 to 1979. Okay. I see the Forbidden Fruit in glass. In, in a textured glass quite often. I've never seen it on a plate before, but this is a commemorative plate. So. Aww. Okay. Oh, this is Christmassy. Poinsettias, cake serving plate. 
Wow. Let's see who made it. Mikasa. Ten ninety nine. Yes. You guys know what this is. Your grandmother's collected it. In case you don't, here I'll let you see it. And there's a Normandy grill plate down there. I have a set of this, uh, and so I don't need another grill plate. A lot of folks are mistakenly, mistakenly refer to this as ca carnival glass. It's made in the 30s, it's a depression piece, and it is not considered carnival glass. By uh, carnival glass collectors. It's just iridescent depression glass. Iridescent depression glass, but not true carnival. Look at this. That is. I don't know. Okay, what's in my cart so far? Well, Here's an Anchor Hawking Splash Proof Green uh, Bowl, Mixing Bowl. This is a nesting bowl, and this is the small one. Uh, I have pretty good luck selling these. They're still popular. Uh, I have one at home that's already listed, and so when that one sells, it's easy for me to just up, upgrade, update my quantity to two. And it's only $1.50, so <clears throat> that's just a quick and easy sell for me. Small, it's easy to ship. That goes in a seven by seven by six box. And I'm always looking for more mid-century things. I like the colors on this, very mid-century. Obviously, it's a cocktail shaker. It's not marked on the bottom. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. The lid comes off. It's got the cap right there, which is good. This is a nice tall one, and I haven't seen, I don't see them often in this particular color scheme, but I do like it. I don't currently have any of these listed. This one's $5, but I'm gonna be able to sell it for 15 to 18, so it's a $10 profit on the item, but it's quick and easy for me to list this. Uh, it's heavy, thick glass. I'm not really worried about it breaking in shipment, so it's just another quick and easy piece to pick up. It also helps me having more of the 1960s items in my shop. Okay, so let's keep looking, see what's next. Well, I went back through the dish aisle a second time and did a little digging, and I pulled this out. Now I've decided to buy it because it's beautifully done. It is hand painted, as you can see. If we look in the light, we see the brush strokes as opposed to the little tiny dots which would indicate transfer. So it's totally hand painted and I think it's well done, in my opinion. The gilding is pretty strong around the edges. The colors are refreshing, uh, I think. It's not the typical black and orange and black and purple that you see on the Japanese pieces. And this, as we see on the back, says... Made in Japan. And the very, very whiteness of this uh, makes it probably porcelain. If I hold it up to the light, I am not able to get a hand free, so I don't know if it's transparent or translucent, rather. But it's just beautiful. There no, there's no damage to it. Uh, and it's only $1.50. So, is it a $12 plate? Is it a $15 plate? Somewhere in that line. But it's just one plate. It's small enough to ship in a 12 by 12 by 8 box. And uh, I like it. What say you? Oh, by the way, it dates that, but that back stamp there dates it to uh, the 1930s. Okay. So, sticking with the things that I like to sell in my shop, 1920s, 30s, 1940s, 50s, 1960s, wonderful. 
No, I don't need those yet. Look, everybody, another one, and it is huge. Oh my goodness, this thing is not quite a foot and a half tall. Wow. But get ready for the heartbreak. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Everybody get your Kleenexes out. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh. Now don't tell me to cover that up with nail polish. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad one. Okay, so. Eh. Gonna say no. Now that's Christmassy. But it's a large. If I put that thing on, you wouldn't be able to find me for a week. Oh well. You can see them in the clothing department. Nothing yet in the cart, but uh, I'm at a new location from the one that I was just in two minutes ago. The colors today in this shop are green and yellow, so let's get to it. Goodwill, and you still want two dollars for it? Yeah, that's the big one. That would be ashamed. <laughs> Why do these names make me laugh? Don't these... They, they, this sounds like these are the kind of people you want as your next door neighbor. I'm gonna run over to Janet, Louise, and Wilmers. Janet, Louise, and Wilmer Roy Snyder. 1960. Much happiness. The Ed, the Ed Garbers. <laughs> so you thought it was going to be much older than that. You know, I admit I did. When I looked at it, I thought, okay, 1912, 1915. But we, we forget that a lot of these blanks, there was a lot of this China painting going on in the 60s, 50s, 60s. So much newer than I thought until I turned it upside down. <laughs> oh, it's funny to me. I'm very easily amused. Small mind, I guess. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, there could be something missing there. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what that is. Well, this just makes me so sad. It's a baby book, uh, which I knew and I picked it up right away because, of course, my mother kept baby books like this for my brother and for me. 
when we were born. But this one, I guess I shouldn't show the name. I don't know if it matters or not. I, I guess I'll show the name. 1952. And it's only 99 cents, but it's uh, completely written in. You can see here. Wow. All the gifts, the baby gifts. The family tree. Wow. Okay. I have to do something with that. Maybe I can find the family. Well, the only thing that is of any interest to me really today, besides uh, the baby book for 99 cents, is the uh, Jeanette cake plate. This is in the sunflower pattern. They come in pink and green. You've seen me sell these multiple times and talk about them multiple times. Dates to the 1930s, and this was given away for free in sacks of flour. Uh, and I run into these quite often in this area where I live. This one is really good. There's no scratches on it. It is $4. Uh, they sell for between $12 and $15. And this has no chips or cracks. So, again, it's a nice item to have. You want to make sure that the three feet are not chipped or broken. And... Uh, Yes, it does fluoresce under black light. If you're curious, got a little bit of uranium in it. Well, that's gonna be it for today. I'm happy with my purchases. I'm not taking home too much. Just three items today from the store, quick and easy. Thanks for shopping with me. Can I have your baby doll? Hmm? Oh, I can't have your baby doll. Come on. Salem. Oh. We don't want all that noise. No, we don't want all that noise. Mm. Come on. You can have him.